Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this video, we are going to talk about macOS Sonoma Public Beta 2. My name is Jay, you are watching Tech Hype. Let's get right into today's video without wasting any more time. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button because I keep on making these type of videos for you guys and you guys seem to love them. So make sure that my videos are in your feed and if you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and turn on notification. Let's get right into today's video. So first of all, if you want to install the public beta, of macOS Sonoma, what do you do? Number one thing is go on Apple's website, sign in there, and that is it. Apple has made the developer and the public beta process really, really simple. You don't have to do anything, just sign in there, and then you have to restart your MacBook once and then go into update section, and you will see a section below automatic updates in the settings where you can simply just click on Apple public beta, and then bam, you will have your public beta on the update screen right after that. In addition to that, Apple has also re-released the beta 4 of every version. The public beta 2 is out of watchOS, macOS, tvOS. But in addition to that, Apple has also released the beta 4 re-released which has the same build as the public beta. In my previous video, I already told you guys that Apple will release the public beta with a different build because a lot of people thought that the build number of the beta 4 and the public beta 2 will be same but of course i told you guys earlier that's the advantage you get by following me because i do tell you guys and that is the reality i already told you guys where a lot of people said that the beta 4 build number and the public beta build number will be the same but I told you guys that the public beta will have a different build number and just to match the public beta build number, Apple has re-released the beta 4. Alright, so some people were having issues with live wallpaper on the previous beta, the beta 1 of macOS Sonoma. Is that bug fixed now? Let's talk about that real quick because live wallpaper is something we all really really love and enjoy. And come on, that is one of the biggest factor we are installing this update, isn't? It. Who does not love this pretty cute and such a marvelous looking wallpaper on your MacBook screen? This is one of the best wallpapers on MacBook in years. Anyways, the wallpaper bug is now resolved on this update. Finally, I'm so happy. The public beta one had this bug and now it seems to be fixed. I have not encountered this bug since I have installed it on my Mac. Let me know down in comments below if some of you guys have have also installed it and have experience with it and if it is happening on your device because thank god it is not having on my mac my mac does not have this bug now then let's talk about the performance the performance of the public beta 2 of mac os sonama seems to be pretty good as well the animations open noticeably faster the scrolling and all seals just a tad bit more smoother compared to earlier, which is really good change. There were some issues with Final Cut Pro as well on the first beta and I tried using Final Cut Pro on the beta too, but the Final Cut Pro really really needs some optimizations or update because the Final Cut Pro is just not suitable for macOS Sonoma. I am not seeing a lot of people talk about it, but Final Cut Pro with Sony XAVC files is just not working properly. I have had a lot of crashes on macOS Sonoma while exporting Sony XAVC file. I have no clue why Apple with the macOS Ventura as well. They are just having a lot of issues with Sony XAVC file on Final Cut Pro. I think Apple should uh, come out with an update of Final Cut Pro because this is more like a Final Cut Pro issue because as I said, it was an issue on macOS Ventura very recently as well. So I'm pretty sure Final Cut Pro is the problem here and not the macOS Sonoma. Now let's come to a million dollar question that is, is it worth installing this update and my final thoughts on macOS Sonoma Public Beta 2? So the answer is no and yes at the same time. If you have your primary machine, suppose it is your primary iMac or your pri primary MacBook, just stay away from it because it is a beta and yes, it is a public beta. It is supposed to be really stable and it is supposed to be installed by public, but... 
that does not mean that you should install it it does have a lot of works it is having a lot i mean a lot of works with intel uh, macbooks as well because some people thought that intel macbooks have been in the market for a lot of years and all the apps are supported so let's just install mac os sonama on those because the most of the complaints that were in highlight of mac os sonama were with the apple silicon uh, apps which were using rosetta which means that uh, intel based apps were having issues on apple silicon mac on mac os sonama but somehow people who were using intel max thought that let's install it and we will not have issues i'm talking about my subscribers in my twitter dm now they are crying because their macbook is getting really overheated and just getting bugged and having a lot of crashes not to forget it is not that easy to downgrade on a mac as well as it is on an iphone it is not that easy to downgrade even if you are installing mac os sonama beta 2 then make sure that your macbook or your imac is backed up on your com another computer or on your another disk and then install this beta come on there are a lot of new changes on the mac os sonama which we all want to try so i know you want to install it but just make sure to stay safe and back up your device overall the beta 2 the public beta 2 of mac os sonama is pretty solid update and i really love this by the time i have been using and playing with it for about six to seven hours by now i'm really loving this new update i will tell you guys the battery improvement or is the battery bad compared to the beta 1 or is it better in my very next video in my follow-up video because it's just been few hours that i'm using this update and i have to have some experience with this update in order to tell you guys that how is the battery life thank you so much for watching this video this is me jay aka tech hyped and i am signing off